What a great start to the day. Just got in, opened the post. Not sure what this is uh, private, but basically that is a notice of intended prosecution, which basically means a speeding fine. Ah, oh, dear me. It's, it's just a great start. It's miserable weather. The golf competition that I referred to is on this afternoon, and the first thing I walk into is that. 57 mile an hour in a 50. I mean, come on. No, the worst thing, I was going to the driving range. Anyway, forget that, let's move on. Let's get straight into positivity. That board behind me is absolutely ram-packed full. Can't thank you enough. I've got a whole list of names here that I've had to write on paper because I've got no room and I need a whiteboard. So, I think, before I go any further, I need to take a trip down the road to the range, as it's called. Let's go and get a new whiteboard. we need bigger. So how to insult somebody and uh, ruin a day, I've just been in the range, on the way out, woman on the stand asked me if I ever considered making a will. Jesus, how rough am I looking nowadays? Talk about ruining someone's day. So as you can see, the day just gets better. I'm now getting asked, have I prepared a will as yet? So what a day this has turned out to be. Let's hope the golf is uh, better than the morning has started so far. Anyway, let's talk about, first of all, that board is fantastic. I haven't got another whiteboard, but I will get one soon. And keep the names coming in. So it's your name, current handicap, and target handicap. Get on the taggers target board. Now, if you can as well, any tweets, anything on Instagram, the hashtag that we use is taggers. And taggers is, if anybody wonders what that stands for, it's the average golfers. Okay, so that's what it's all about this channel. It's all about average golfers. That's our hashtag, hashtag taggers. So stick that onto any of your tweets, I'd appreciate it. Right, next thing, just about to put up the um, press release about the Callaway XR Speed drivers and fairway woods. So I'm not, just gonna, I'm not gonna go into too much technical detail about these clubs because we'll do a review as and when the club arrives from Callaway for our testing. What I'm really interested in is the fact that it's about the release. It surprised me, I didn't know these clubs were coming. Um, don't forget Callaway have got the Epic range and they've got the Rogue range out and they've got some steel-head fairways. Um, they've got the uh, Apex range is still current. So there's, they've got the X-Forge range. Um, they've got a lot of products out right now and I know it upsets a lot of people. Um, and I can kind of like, again, this release is a, it comes as a bit of a surprise. The, the reasoning or the logic I would apply to Callaway releasing a product range, in, certainly in terms of the driver, would be to attack a price point because they've put drivers up in the sort of 450 zone now, Great British Pounds, that's a real hike. So I can understand if they brought a product in that was in around the sort of 250 to 280 mark as a driver, because that would make a product maybe more accessible in terms of affordability. But this is coming in at 339 in terms of the list price. So okay, yeah, it is cheaper, it is attacking a different price point, but it is still very, very expensive. I'm not gonna go through the list of the fairway woods in terms of prices, but again, I would imagine it's that kind of, uh, again, premium price. Looks a real nice driver to be fair, but you know, fast just got faster. The question again is how much faster did fast get? Try saying that when you've had a few. And the reason I say that is because we want to see, and, and again, I read the comments, I get the mentality of the average golfers out there. When a new product is released, they want to see move forward and they want to see a leap forward. They don't want to see a very minor and a small move forward from a manufacturer when they release clubs. And I just wonder, and we will measure this claim because when we get down to track band and start to look at club head speed and ball speeds, Let's have a look if how much faster fast got because we'll compare it through to the, was it the XR16 and I really hope that there are some big changes otherwise again there's the question mark raised over why is this product being released onto the market so yeah it's a difficult one um, anyway that's enough of that 
your input is this, I want to know what your thoughts are, what your thoughts are, forget, I'm not, I'm not talking about Callaway here, I'm talking about manufacturers again, because I know um, there's a particular thing towards maybe Callaway and towards TaylorMade, uh, there was an issue with Ping as well, releasing the G400 Max driver, um, not so long after the G400 range came out, so, you know, th there's, a, there's a couple of gripes out there at the moment, what are your thoughts, what are your opinions on that? Right, next thing is today's competition. So the whole purpose of the taggers, target board as we've now called it, is it was a, it was a goal. It was something that was we sort of um, we marked by writing on a board, and it was a target that everyone can see. And I didn't put it doesn't put because my first idea was obviously I'd tell you what my target is, and it's a kind of a it's not a pressure, but it's something it's being monitored. It's I don't know. It's an, for me personally, mentally, it's an extra drive to to think that you know uh, I maybe improve concentration in terms of I need to reach and achieve that goal. So that was the idea behind the whole target board, and I hope it works in the same way for you as well. And I hope that in the weeks ahead we get that board absolutely full of average golfers with uh, targets. It'd be great to see. Don't forget the important thing is is when you have an improvement or. In fact, if it goes the other way, you might have to let me know. But certainly improvements, let us know, and we'll make an amendment to the target board. And I hope I do that. The reason of the video the other day was, timing-wise, was because today I'm playing the first midweek um, competition of the season, which I hope, uh, provided it's not pit clean in place because it's been very, very wet again, is a handicap qualifier. That's this afternoon. Um, Personally, I'm looking forward to it. I played, I played what, it was Easter, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, so um, it was about, sort of, what's that, eight, nine, ten days ago. And I played particularly well in some really uh, bad conditions. If I assess my game that day, driving um, iron plate was as good as it's been for quite some time, and especially bearing in mind the conditions, and I wonder whether or not that was partly due to it, again, the concentration. But my putting was poor, and, and to, uh, short game as well, that I'd, I have practiced on short game came up good, but I'm not all in puts, and I, I didn't really all puts last season, and it's a bit of a surprise because I put put in for people, and there's a couple of people who watch the channel um, who knew me from a few years back. Putting is a real strong point of my game, was a real strong point of my game, and I suppose when the confidence dips and you start missing a few, maybe it's a lot to do with confidence, but I am struggling. I don't have an issue with pace, pace is always quite good, I always put the ball kind of in, but in bin lids, but I was always fancied puts around 8 to 10 foot of making a fair proportion of them, and I'm not doing that, and I didn't do it last year either, so I do the old obvious thing, instead of blaming stroke or uh, and, and technique and looking for lessons, what do you do? I go and have a look at other putters, which is, I know it's a harebrain idea, I know, don't need to tell me, but I still do it anyway, we all do it. Um, and I got sent a putter, by ping um, not so long back which is very nice them to test and I can't test any putters because the conditions are so poor can't test balls at the moment because the conditions are so poor it was a stunning putter from ping ping I struggle to get in focus on this camera with this wide angle lens and anything close ping vault 2 absolutely stunning piece of engineering I'm gonna give it a go this afternoon I'll, I'll hit a few balls on the uh, on the on the practice ground and uh, a practice screen and see how that goes um, it's one of them where, to be quite honest with you, it's not so much, I'm not putting well with the current putter uh, that's been in the bag, so I think the idea of moving to this is not so risky, um, and we'll see how we get on. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try and film that. The problem I have in terms of film, a lot of people ask me to film, um, I, I'm not keen on filming golf on the course because I really struggle to concentrate in doing both I'm afraid and it really ruins my game both in terms of the pressure it puts on you in terms of the swing but also the the, the necessity to continually remind yourself to record every shot I'm, I don't like it really um, but it's part and parcel of I think it's what people like on channels the other issue I've got this afternoon is I don't know who I'm playing with so again not everybody's comfortable being on a camera so I'll see I'll see what happens this afternoon and uh, I'll take, I maybe record a little bit on the iPhone, a little bit of, uh, that's not too cumbersome to carry around, so I'll carry that with me and uh, record a few shots, but I'll certainly be recording and reporting back my score anyway, and we'll see how that goes. So, I'm gonna leave it there for today's daily-ish vlog. You notice I called it daily-ish. I think 
I was perhaps misleading with the, you know, should I start a daily vlog? Um, almost sound like a golf club manufacturer. Should I start a daily vlog? Well, did you mean to say that? Well, actually, no, not exactly that. So what I really meant was I will record footage daily and perhaps produce a video every two or three days every week depending on how the footage gets put together so yeah I apologize maybe it's slightly misleading but thank you all for your input again and advice regarding that I'm enjoying this new setup this bit is fantastic I can't believe the response on that so keep them coming in in terms of the targets for the year and uh, I better go and pay me fine and then cheer up, get positive, get the new putter out, start holding some birdies and record a good score. I might, you never know, be changing my handicap come tomorrow morning.